Did you know that the origin of the name Brunei is uncertain? However, there are a few theories that have been proposed. One theory is that the name Brunei comes from the Malay word Baranai, which means seafarers. This theory is supported by the fact that Brunei has a long history of maritime trade. Another theory is that the name Brunei comes from the Sanskrit word Varu, which means ocean god. This theory is supported by the fact that Brunei is surrounded by the South China Sea on three sides. A third theory is that the name Brunei comes from the Malay word Baruna, which means that's it, or there. This theory is based on a legend that the first sultan of Brunei, Awain Alakbaidatar, explained Baruna when he discovered the Brunei River. Did you know that the origin of the name Timor-Leste is uncertain? However, there are a few theories that have been proposed. One theory is that the name Timor comes from the Malay word Timor, which means east. This theory is supported by the fact that Timor-Leste is located on the eastern part of the island of Timor. Another theory is that the name Timor comes from the Tetum word Timor, which means where the sun rises. This theory is supported by the fact that Timor-Leste is located in the eastern hemisphere, where the sun rises. The name Leste, which means east in Portuguese, was added to the name of the country in 2002, when Timor-Leste became an independent country. Did you know that the name Philippines comes from the Spanish explorer Rui Lopez de Villalobos, who named the islands after Prince Philip of Spain in 1542? Villalobos was sailing for the Spanish crown at the time, and he was hoping to claim the islands for Spain. The name Philippines was originally only applied to a small group of islands in the Leyte and Samar provinces. However, over time, the name was expanded to apply to the entire archipelago. The Philippines officially became a Spanish colony in 1565, and it remained under Spanish rule for over 300 years. The name Philippines is a reflection of the country's long colonial history. It is also a reminder of the country's deep ties to Spain. However, the name Philippines is also a symbol of the country's independence and resilience. The Filipino people have fought for their freedom for centuries, and they have overcome many challenges to build the strong and vibrant nation that the Philippines is today. Did you know that the name Indonesia comes from the Greek words Indos and Nisos, which mean Indian and Island? The name was first coined in the 19th century by a British ethnologist named George Windsor Earl. Earl wanted to find a name that would encompass all of the different islands and cultures in the archipelago. He chose the name Indonesia because it was both inclusive and descriptive. The name Indonesia was officially adopted by the Indonesian government in 1945, when the country declared its independence from the Netherlands. The name is a symbol of Indonesia's unity and diversity. It is a reminder that Indonesia is a country made up of many different islands and cultures, but it is also a country that is united by its people. Did you know that the origin of the name Singapore is uncertain? However, there are a few theories that have been proposed. One theory is that the name Singapore comes from the Sanskrit words Simha and Pura, which mean lion and city. This theory is supported by the fact that Singapore was once known as Temasek, which means sea town in Malay. The lion is a symbol of strength and power, and it is believed that the name Singapore was chosen to reflect the country's growing importance and prosperity. Another theory is that the name Singapore comes from the Malay word Singa, which means lion, and the Javanese word Pura, which means city. This theory is supported by the fact that Singapore was once part of the Majapahit Empire, a Javanese empire that ruled over much of Southeast Asia. A third theory is that the name Singapore comes from the Chinese word Jilinpa, which means Lion City. This theory is supported by the fact that there was a significant Chinese population in Singapore at the time of its founding. Did you know that the origin of the name Malaysia is straightforward? It is a combination of the words Malay and Asia. The Malays are the largest ethnic group in Malaysia, and they have lived in the region for thousands of years. The word Asia is a reference to the continent on which Malaysia is located. The name Malaysia was first coined in the 19th century by British colonial authorities. They used the name to refer to the Malay Peninsula and the surrounding islands. In 1963, the Federation of Malaya merged with the British colonies of Singapore, North Borneo, and Sarawak to form the new nation of Malaysia. Did you know that the origin of the name Myanmar is uncertain? However, there are a few theories that have been proposed. One theory is that the name Myanmar comes from the Burmese word Myanma, which means strong people. This theory is supported by the fact that the Burmese people have a long history of fighting for their independence and self-determination. Another theory is that the name Myanmar comes from the Sanskrit words Mayan and Mar, which mean lord and kingdom. This theory is supported by the fact that Myanmar was once a powerful kingdom in Southeast Asia. A third theory is that the name Myanmar comes from the Chinese name Myandian, which means southern land. This theory is supported by the fact that Myanmar is located in the southern part of Southeast Asia. Did you know that the origin of the name Laos is uncertain? However, there are a few theories that have been proposed. One theory is that the name Laos comes from the Lao language word La, which means free. 
This theory is supported by the fact that the Lao people have a long history of independence and self-determination. Another theory is that the name Laos comes from the Sanskrit word lava, which means people of the land. This theory is supported by the fact that the Lao people have lived in the same region for thousands of years. A third theory is that the name Laos comes from the Chinese word Lao, which means old. This theory is supported by the fact that the Lao people have a long and rich history. Did you know that the name Vietnam means land of the Viet people? The Viet people are an ethnic group that is native to Vietnam. The Viet people have a long and proud history, and they have played a major role in shaping the culture and identity of Vietnam. The name Vietnam was first used to refer to the entire region of Indochina, which includes Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. However, over time, the name Vietnam came to be used to refer specifically to the country that is now known as Vietnam. The name Vietnam was officially adopted in 1802 by Emperor Gia Long, the founder of the Nguyen dynasty. Emperor Gia Long wanted to unite the country under a single name, and he chose the name Vietnam because it was a name that had been used to refer to the region for centuries. The name Vietnam continued to be used throughout the French colonial period. After Vietnam gained independence from France in 1954, the official name of the country became the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. However, the name Vietnam is still the most commonly used name for the country in English. Did you know that the name Thailand has only been in use for a little over 100 years? Before that, the country was known as Siam. The name Siam is thought to come from the Pali word Savarnabhumi, which means land of gold. In the early 20th century, King Rama VI of Siam wanted to modernize the country and change its image to the outside world. He decided to change the name of the country to Thailand, which means land of the free. King Rama VI believed that the name Thailand would better reflect the country's independence and its commitment to democracy. He also believed that the name Thailand would be more appealing to foreign investors and tourists. The name Thailand was officially adopted on June 24, 1939. However, the name Siam continued to be used by some people, both inside and outside of Thailand. Today, the name Thailand is the only official name of the country. However, the name Siam is still sometimes used in historical contexts. Did you know where the name Cambodia comes from? The earliest known name for Cambodia is Kambuja, which is mentioned in Sanskrit inscriptions from the 1st century AD. The name Kambuja is thought to be derived from the legend of Svayambhuva Kamboj, a mythical sage who is said to be the ancestor of the Khmer people. The name Kambuja was used by the Khmer Empire to refer to their kingdom and to the people of their kingdom. The Khmer Empire was one of the most powerful empires in Southeast Asia. In the 15th century, the Khmer Empire collapsed, and Cambodia was divided into a number of smaller kingdoms. During this period, the name Kambuja was used less and less, and the name Cambodia became more common. In the 19th century, Cambodia became a French protectorate. During this period, the French used the name Cambodge to refer to Cambodia. After Cambodia gained independence from France in 1953, the official name of the country became Royaume du Cambodge, Kingdom of Cambodia. However, the name Cambodia is still the most commonly used name for the country in English.